Welcome back to No More Down Low. We're on location in West Hollywood with the start of season three of our show. I'm standing in Library Park and home of the state-of-the-art beautiful library complex. The facility features an extensive historical LGBT archive, high-tech computer labs, children's storytelling and community theaters, a career development center, a coffee bar, and expanded parking structure. And yes, it even has a rooftop tennis court. And as you can see, it's an architectural jewel. Janora? You're right, Kendall, that is a beautiful facility. Well, switching gears up just a little bit, if you are anything like me, this summer you were glued to the Olympics in London. So the thought occurred to me, what would it be like to be black and gay in the UK? Well, up next, you'll meet a man who is on a mission to answer that question by telling London's LGBT stories through his award-winning works in film. Take a look. Around 11 is when I really started um, becoming a filmmaker. If you're out, you're in. If you're in, you're out. And if you're straight, you're too damn late. Meet Ricky Beetle Blair, the UK's gay answer to Spike Lee and then some. He's a writer, actor, dancer, singer, songwriter, and award-winning filmmaker who's dedicated his life to telling British LGBT stories through his lens. I'm not grand, I don't need lots of studio money and all of those things, or more money, and I can always make it out of what's there. Do you know any other dance skills? Absolute homosexual. You what? Jordan, you what? What'd you say? What did you say? You've got something to say, then speak okay. up. Okay. What? Ricky has racked up a number of awards for storytelling brilliance. We were with him back in 2011 when he received the Outfest Fusion Achievement Award in Los Angeles. Because this, I understand now, isn't for me. This is for little colored boys in South London, in South Central, in South America. This is for everyone. But getting the award is nothing. I am supposed to be the award. My job is to earn that. When someone gives that to me, my job is to, is to give that back to the people who are watching and be an award to little black boys, little white boys, little gay boys, little straight boys who are a little bit different. Ricky is quite unique, really. Jennifer Daly is a single bisexual actress who has starred in several Ricky Beetle Blair films. She says though his work is largely inclusive of all races, gender and sexual orientation, no one else puts the spotlight on London's same gender loving people of color like Ricky. We caught up with her via Skype at her home in London. As far as I'm aware, um, he's the only person, the only kind of writer, director, artist doing the kind of work that he does. Um, it's very, um, it is very inclusive. Black people! Brown, yellow, red and white people! It's time for the highlights of UK Black Pride. Miss Dynamite inside the place. So what's it like for same gender loving people of color in London? Well, I've been around the world <laughs> and being gay of African descent seems to be a struggle for so many people. I've heard it in Hong Kong. I've heard it in uh, all across America. I've heard it all over the world. I've been to the same issues and I've heard it in Britain. British people are fun and liberated. You know, I find quite a lot of black gay people out in the centre of London um, at the, you know, the Pride Festival. The highlight for me today is to see all these beautiful people of every single shade and colour dancing together, having a good time. No riots, no stress, no fear of, um, of oppression, just having a good time and letting their hair down. I want to tell the stories I want to tell, and a lot of them are gay stories. And, and I don't want to pander to gay people and go, well, I'm only going to tell those stories either. I'm, I'm just limitless. Ricky's works extend beyond the shores of Great Britain. He's also credited as a writer and creative consultant on one of America's most successful gay television series called Noah's Ark. Kendall? 